as cool as the rest of the bike is, it's really just a setting for the gem that is the power plant. Ducati's L-Twin, really a 90-degree V-Twin, uses Duck's famous V's motoronic valve drain to time the two poppets in each head. It uses a push-open cam for each valve. Nothing special there, but the pull-closed cam makes this into a different animal entirely. It provides a positive means of closure without the oh-so-common springs that are vulnerable to the harmonic flow that can lead to valve-to-piston contact in a non-free-running engine, so rev away without fear. At 8,250 revolutions per minute, the mill grinds out a total of 75 horsepower. But the 50 pound feet of torque maxes at 500 turns earlier at 7,750 revolutions per minute, and it comes on with a linear delivery that is meant to be user friendly, even to the relatively inexperienced. The barrels measure out to 88 millimeters with a 66 millimeters stroke and an 11 to 1 compression ratio. Induction management falls to the 50 mm throttle body, electronic ignition system and the skills in your right wrist alone since it runs without traction control or any other fandanglery to complicate the works. A catalyst in the exhaust system helps the Scrambler family meet Euro 4 emission standards with cooling fins to radiate the waste heat away from the air-cooled engine.